most part. At least around Portland, yeah. but you head south through Salem, and we have seen quite a bit of accumulating snow. So here are your headlines for this Monday morning snow event. Some see little to no accumulation, just wet roads like many of us are seeing across the metro. But some areas, one to two inches of snow, you get above 1,000 feet, up to about 1,500 feet. I've had reports up to six inches of snow this morning. No widespread morning commute issues. That's in the lowest elevations along the I-5 corridor, especially around the Portland-Vancouver metro area. But localized slowdowns, definitely a possibility because of the snow that we're seeing out there, especially in the hills around town. Any snow that does accumulate here in the Willamette Valley will melt off this afternoon as we see sun breaks and temperatures climb into the 40s. So let's break it down for you. Winter weather advisory completely surrounding the Portland metro area, but Portland not included. Neither is Vancouver or Kelso or Longview. Out in the coast range, a winter weather advisory until 4 this afternoon. So snow showers continue into the afternoon there. I-5 corridor by this afternoon. We'll see those sun breaks, temperatures in the 40s, and passing downpours. Can't rule out snowflakes mixing in from time to time, but nothing that will accumulate after this morning. So this winter weather advisory through Salem until 10 this morning, up to 2 inches of snow possible. You get into the Cascade foothills, above 1,500 feet there, 4 to 8 inches of snow today with a lot more on the way tomorrow. So here is radar. You can see widespread shower activity up and down I-5. Some of us briefly catching a break just east of downtown Portland, but then showers pick up again out west, and you'll notice there's plenty more where they came from offshore, so we'll continue to see these showers throughout the morning. Miri sent this picture in. This picture is right outside of Dundee. Great shot. This is above Woodland at 1,700 feet. Allen says about six inches of snow so far, and here's what Bald Peak peak looks like. This is north of Newburgh. Brian Bradley sent that picture about six inches as well. So here's a look at your weather pattern. Cool air for the beginning of the week. That's why we're seeing widespread snow even in the lowest elevations. But that retreats back up to Canada with a storm track still taking aim on the Pacific Northwest all the way through the week. So very active weather as we head through this week. The wettest day looks to be tomorrow. So scattered snow showers this morning on your rain and cloud forecast. Sun breaks this afternoon and downpours. Can't rule out small hail mixing in from time to time and look how that rain turns solid tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning's commute looks pretty wet but not white in the lowest elevations. Passing showers continue Wednesday, scattered showers Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So a chilly and damp seven-day forecast, Carly.